Welcome back, everybody. This is Bithu Bakina 7 with Way Forward, and joining me are Nuntar, Crimson Moon, and Pinnacle. Hello. Hi. No more tar stuff. Yay. Yes. <laughs> well, we'll have to see for that, but uh, yeah, so now we are up to the secret hunt part. So, uh, last time we made it to the end, and uh, the architects used up too many bridges, so the treasure is not reachable. Incompetence. So yeah, now is the secret hunt time. As we see here, there is one in the heating chambers. There are two we missed in the workflow direction center. We got okay. the one in the water containment and not there's nothing in the flow center piece. We got the one in the jets level and there's one in boy blues room level. So wait, is that yeah. working one again? So. No, it's... Okay, so I guess we'll start with the heating channels. Yep. That works. Yeah. All right. So. So is there any strategy aside from just doing that, or? Ah, uh, this is a good enough way. All right. There we go. There we go. Well, that was quick. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. This does not inspire much trust in me. I think you put them in it too close. Oh. Oh, I can put them on. Okay. Yeah, you can put them in. Yeah. The question is, which way is it gonna face? For this to work out. You know, you 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 want you want the mimic to drop the last trap door and you to be on the red door. Oh yeah. Yeah, that, I guess that makes sense. So, couldn't you just then? I would just drop all the trap doors, then place the mimic right southeast of the northwest door, and then just move northwest until you're next to him in the northeast. Or southeast, sorry. So. Yeah, just move every trap door, then, yeah, go there. Then move. Not there. there. Alright. Not too tricky. Not sure what I was part of the actual level. All right, so I just want to look at. Wow, that's really hard to tell. Yeah. Okay, so that's this one done. We're missing two secrets in here. Because uh, this one we didn't get though. With the roach. Right. Run. Oh. Oh no! I hit the. Oh, well, don't solve now, so. Come on, Rochi. Alright. Okay. Silver balls. Okay. Ah. There's a version of this. She looks a little tricky. It's two roaches instead of. No, oh, well, this roach seems to. I have no idea what this roach is doing, actually. It's ruining the... In the middle of the room, it looks like it'll be closing that door. And so that's going to be more of a hindrance. Ah. Okay, so it needs to... Go as far upwards as possible. So I think the... Yeah, the... The roach that's going to be moving the center is going to have to move diagonal as much as possible. Yeah. And this door will be blocked, so... I think what we were doing earlier won't work. So yeah, let's try to make that work. I think I might want to start with a tiny one, maybe. Yeah, probably. Might be best to use as many small ones near the roach as possible. Yeah. So that way you can fit the most for diagonal movements. Okay, so that's that. Okay, do I want to get the top one? 
everybody. Okay, so that's a straight line. We might want to get those big ones out before we start doing more. Yeah. Yeah, because now the the biggest one won't be able to get out because of the way it is set up. So, spawn out. Ooh. You can just use one of those smaller ones under the big one if you need to. Yeah, probably. Because I don't think it's going to be going much, many places. Oh, wait. I think that got it above. So now we can just uh, get that smaller one over there. Just going to mix it through. Rafts. The fun of shunting around pla platforms. Yeah. Okay, I think uh, here's where we want this one to come along. Wait, did we? Oh, I think we want that one later. If you move... If oh, you wait. move... The um Yeah we can take this. That that look no, it looks good where it is. No, move that not. down and then move go down to the platform under that one. The under the biggest. And just move it one to the right. That moves diagonal all the way to that. Oh but we can't use that because it's gonna be blocked off when we step on the switch. Yeah. No. But I think that's good because that gets it to that door in the fewest number of moves. But the door is gonna be closed when we Step on the pressure plate to release the roaches. Wait, I think I may have a bit of an idea. Let's get this guy merge the platforms, I guess. Like, oh. Hmm, not quite that. So I'll have to bring this guy along for a ride. Oh boy. Sorry, why did I bring that down there again? Alright, oh, to use. Uh, pull this out. The vertical, and then. Bring this one now, I guess. Okay, so now that's a straight diagonal path. I like think I'm... the problem with that is it's going to be, um, we're going to miss out on a few turns. Yeah. Or, because it's going to be not connected to the ends. Wait a minute. I'm not having another idea. Actually, you get over here. I'm going to need you. Okay, there we go. I think that actually did what I wanted to do. <laughs> That's All right. Upside. So now. Oh, yes. Uh, that's almost it. We do have enough height to get out. Alright. Ah, just barely. This guy's dead. There's, there we go. Nice. That was a little clever. <sighs> well, yeah, rafts are not that fun. Okay, so there's another secret on top of all these. Now, where could that be? 
I would like craft puzzles a lot more if it was like if there was an easier way of moving them around. Yeah. Definitely. Just restore to the end of the level and then walk around and look for it. That's the easiest. Mm -hmm. That doesn't have a good idea. Well, before I move anywhere else, I'm gonna check the ending area here. Okay. Alright. Okay, here doesn't seem to be anything. Uh, it wouldn't lead to anything because uh, it's in the center. This could lead to something, though. But it doesn't. No. Hmm. Oh, I think I. Oh, wait. No. No, it was just the Skype artifact. Mm. I don't know why, I had a feeling that there'd be something over here. It's already secret to the west there, so... Wait... That's interesting, maybe there's another version of this room. Mm -hmm. That's... No, I'm not spawning anything, though. Hmm. Ah! That's clever. Oh, and now it's gel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so basically the same trick as last time, except now it's... Well, it's gel. Yes, I can see that it's gel. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so how, how did we cut that thing last time? I don't even remember that well. Did we cut out this area or something? No, last time we went we went down the middle of the top edge, which obviously is no longer possible. Yeah. But yeah, that that's a good start because we, we need to we need to make sure that this is going to be very difficult. Yeah. Will be. Hmm. What's with these doors? Hmm. They're the, they're the original too. It's so odd. Hmm. I'm seeing that the roach is not really letting me go, so it's just a little discovery. Mess around a little bit, see what happens with these. Even though I know it won't work because of the fact that I'm gonna need more than just that. Okay. Yeah, okay, so this seems like a good place to start. Alright, so now I'll just cut in there. We'd have, to t uh, we'd have to take into account uh, what formation we used before 
Let's see if something similar can be recreated. Does anyone remember the shape we had? This. I don't think the same shape is necessary though, since it's a. Oh, uh, never mind. It's a roach. I thought. Uh, yeah, it's completely impossible to get the same shape. Yeah, probably. But, but if we know which shape it was, then we could probably try to find similar to something similar to it with the gel. Well, we just we basically just need to know like what's what's important about the shape, not what the exact shape was. Yeah. Well, the important thing is that when you go all the way around it, it's going to keep moving um, from one place to another without coming to the outside, and obviously, this this won't do because it will escape through that northeast corner. Yeah. And I think right. that's actually the problem with the gel is that uh, it'll escape no matter what. No, there, there, there's got. Drive it in a gel, baby, in the center. Huh? A gel baby? Guess maybe if there's a... I, I think going, cut starting at the northeast looks much more promising. Yeah, there's something there? Yeah. But you have... So you have to go down and then... And then back up to... Mm, I like chance. the idea of leaving a gel baby somewhere to make a shape. The, like we couldn't normally. Oh well, actually, yeah, maybe. Hold on. Let's see if I can make that happen. Okay. Hmm. And that way, we could basically like seal the roach in almost. Ah, the roach moves first, though. So at least, uh, because of the way things work. I still think this has potential, though. Yeah, if you... When, when you were going up the left-hand side just now, mm -hmm. so if, if you undo un, un, up to that point... Mm -hmm. So undo up to where you were going up, up mm -hmm. on the west. So go up and then down again. Okay. I was thinking maybe if we had more, but if we had more, they they would probably overflow or something. Maybe a cut on the opposite side. Sorry for interrupting you earlier, and I was in a phone call, and the idea just came to my mind, so I. Needed to quickly say it. Hmm. All right. All right. Yeah, no, that doesn't change anything. In fact, I think that's even less promising. It might not work. It's just an idea because I know that they can't move diagonally. Yeah. Or they can't slide. Yeah, it seemed like it could have worked, but. See that, that shape doesn't work. Yeah. But... That's why I believe there has to be a baby because yeah. 
there's yeah. no way to get in without going diagonally in. Yeah, that, that that's right. That's that's get that's going to be part of the solution somehow. Just need to find the right shape. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't work at all. Still feel like yeah. Maybe yeah, having gel babies in there was probably their best one. Most likely to work. I wonder if I mess with their movement order or something. Well, we need to get the roach in there first before messing with them. Yeah. The pink tiles are really distracting. The pink tiles? Yes. Yeah, it's it's lighted pink, so. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. If the roach didn't have movement order priority, then this would be not too bad. Yeah. There's no way for it not to, though. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't work. Anything created during the room has movement priority at the end. Yeah. If I can get that roach there... What? If I can get the roach there, then the two gel babies there somehow. That would work, but I can't. I think we need another shape. I think that I, I think we've tried this shape, and it's not the answer. Yeah. So there's only really one other possible shape, or a few maybe. So cut, cut like that, and then no, and then go out without killing the baby. Uh, oh, maybe. Good so that's a different shape. Yeah, and it definitely feels like it might actually work better. Oh. Roach doesn't agree though. Mm. Yeah, the roach movement order is really problematic here. I think that one shape when we had it in the middle was um I did this instead. Wait, but then there's no way to keep anything alive. Wait, what this? Mm. I don't like my odds with this. Yeah, it's just it's just gonna go right it's out. So. Same thing we've tried. Try entering from one of the um, other corners. And I think there was a shape you made that was kind of like a... It was kind of like a... This? Oh wait, do you mean the one that cuts like that? Two exits like that is definitely not good. Nah. You can get a baby in there from a cut on the outside, though. Oh, yeah. Alright. This feels uh, a little better. Alright. I feel that's a good sign. Oh well, now it's gonna seep out and betray me. What if you get two in there? 
Mm. No, I think that would just be worse, actually. Oh. Also, I don't see how to have more in there. I think that's gonna be it. Go from that angle again huh? and um, try to make it a little bit smaller. Oh, like this? E kind. Uh, maybe. Mm. Doesn't seem like it'll be much better though. Um, do the first shape we were doing, but as um smaller because we will be able to not stay in the diagonal for very long. And, um, but cut it from the outside like we were just doing, but not from there, but um, from the first corners we were trying. Yeah, this one? Yeah, so go a little bit in there, maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe one more, and then go and cut it from a different um, spot. Like that? Yeah, and then get the baby from there and see if that helps. All right. Hmm. Well, now we have to get it in now, though. Yeah, so if there's a way we could get the roach in while having the... And I think there is a way. What if you... No, that's not going to be possible. Never mind. But even if you have the roach in there with the gel baby on the other side, the gel baby will come out. That's interesting. That's gonna happen. Wait. Huh? Fine. Doesn't matter. The inside was a little bigger, it might still be possible, but I don't know if um, there's a good spot to break. Mm -hmm. Okay, wait, instead of doing three deep in, do two deep in and then do one of the sides. So, like, no, go inside there, but break, instead of that one end, break another end, yeah. Okay, like yeah. Didn't we try that, like, already, though? Have you guys? You, you, you still need to have a gel baby alive, because that yeah. formation, yeah. Because this is a new formation I don't think I've we've seen yet. Yeah, but it's kind of a variation on one I think I already tried. But I think the fact that we need the uh, the doors for that is a good sign. That is true. I think that we're just trying getting the roach yeah, to go in the opposite direction. Mm. Could always just do that cut on the other side instead of that side. Yeah. Okay. This puzzle's a pain. I wonder if it's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
That is a statement that I agree with. Oh. Um. Yeah, that's probably worse. Okay. Instead of cutting it on the the instead of making that four on the top, make it on the uh, right. Yeah, now I'll try it. Okay, so now they're both in there, but is there a way to... Oh. Okay, this might do something. Yes, it, I think it does. Yes, this this did it. Oh, there we go. Yay. Oh, yeah. No, it. What? Oh, it's just. This time you can't get through it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's all the secrets in here, I believe. Thirty minutes yep. in. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, nothing here. Okay, so the last secret is in the icy labs. Oh boy. Oh, this is. Uh... Well, yeah. I wonder what uh, horrors await us here. Cause I don't know why I have that feeling that the uh, boy blue probably left the worst room in a, in a secret. Also, yeah, security. Okay, is it in there? I don't think it'd be in here because it'd be way too hard to get to if you wanted to get to it. Yeah. That, oh, wait. Cool. No, no, it's, uh, it's just a little bit. <laughs> I thought that it was something in the corner. That would be a pretty good reason for hiding it there. Yeah. Well, we'll find out. I don't see any cracks in this room. Yeah, me either. It wouldn't be accessible from a different level, right? That, that would just be too mean. Yeah. Just keep looking. Probably not in there. Turn the movement counter off, just in case. Yeah. And I think you really should look harder at the adder room because that's exactly where I would have put it. Wait, mm. I see. I see. Go, go back to one north, one west. Hmm. Top left. Are those secret walls? No, they're not. Never mind. <laughs> not sure how you'd get there if they were, but cool. let's check that or more. I agree with Nunter. Let's just. Is there a crack here? Will it actually say secret wall if it um? Yes. Yeah, it yes. would. That shit even works for secret walls uh, that are hidden uh, from sight. Yeah. I've used that cheat a few times before myself to uh, figure out where a path is going. Basically just to cheat the whole process. Nothing here. Ugh. <laughs> See it, bottom left corner. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I think that's it. Ah, finally. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, so what is this? What even is this? Pressure plates. Okay, we don't want that to grow. No, we do want that to grow because we have to. Clear that tar blob to get to the trap door. No, we want that to grow, but not that. Okay, how are you going to manage that? By making her spawn all over the place. 
Yeah, that would do it. <laughs> oh, boy. This You're gonna just have... seems like the worst thing ever. Uh, I don't know why you would assume otherwise. Yes, it, I guess it makes sense that this is the last of her. Yeah. You just need enough to make sure it just spawns babies over mm -hmm. Tar. So oh, like you don't need yeah. a roach in every single spot, you just need enough that it would spawn babies instead. Yeah, probably. Not. But that still, um, that still keeps the door closed. You can move the babies afterwards. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, now we have to reach the Tar Mother. That one baby just spawned, can you move it or no? Um. Have the queen, uh, where the last roach you spawned, the fourth one, have the queen there instead, and then have a roach under it. And then, no, that doesn't work. No, that does work. So, where you last spawned that fourth roach, that makes the whole diamond rhombus, whatever thing. Yeah. Um, have the queen there instead, and then have it where there's a roach under it, so that way it can't run away. And okay. then it will spawn. Alright. Sounds like a good idea. Alright. And then you can grow it. Okay. There we go. Let's get rid of that thing. I guess about those tar babies. Okay. Well, <laughs> stupid queen, get off of there. You need the. Um, you're gonna need to just make sure it doesn't ever go on there, because it needs something to keep it from. Yeah. There we go. Boom. The room. Another good room. And hold mastered! Woo! So now, these are gone. It's also a secret room. Okay, yeah, we know what that said, and supposedly there's going to be some stuff on McGarrick's 5 there, so... And a lot of so. tedious walking. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully that isn't true for the actual level. It's going to be a maze level. Oh, joy. Okay, secrets below. Beethro thought back to the last time he had tried to clear a dungeon as part of a team, not counting dragging along his ungrateful brat of a nephew. The five smite masters each had their own rather different style, and after one of the less attentive managed to drop the door that Beethro was using to hold back a swarm of goblins, Beethro swore that from then on he would work alone. This level was clearly the result of a similar sort of group effort undertaken by the tower's architects. To their credit, they managed to avoid getting in each other's way, but six tremendous egos were certainly not going to compromise their individual styles to produce anything more than a Frankensteinian patchwork of a level. Hmm. So basically, that describes passing of the hold. <laughs> All right, so keep the snake alive. Oh boy, okay. Why is it? Oh. Right. 
Okay. Just needed to come a rushing after me. Right. Okay. It's stupid, I can just go. Alright. And now time. Ooh. A mess. <laughs> yes, a mess. So much for the hurts my eyes just looking at it. <laughs> Alright, well, let's take a look at everything else. So that room is there. Decoy and a bunch of roaches. Killing it is not a good idea. But it's probably only the only thing I can actually do, so. Oh, that just looks kind of annoying. Uh, tiny room? I have a feeling that's Jacob's work. Trapdoor puzzle. Yeah. Actually, but let's see if we can pull that off right now. Actually, this is surprisingly easy. I don't um, rock that. Yeah. Never mind. Maybe it isn't. Okay, that was easy. Alright. Here's this room. There's more. Oh. No. Another mess. <laughs> yep. Another mess. I'm assuming this is Nagarik's room? I have a feeling that it is. <laughs> and after that we also have... Another room like this. Wow. That's number three. <laughs> yeah. And number four. Great. Wait, what's the, what's the difference between them? Um, it looked like the Wubba and Golem switch places. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, so... Alright, on to south. Okay. This might be Chaco. Looks very much his style. Yeah. So, um, okay, so there's a blob. We can turn it into gel if we want. Yeah. <laughs> There's no reason uh, to clear it's, this, so... It's like almost a, an even more horrifying version of that secret room from before. Yeah. That looks like what it is, actually, pretty much. So... This opens that. I actually have no idea what is expected of us here. We probably... Oh, we need to clear up a bunch of babies and then show yeah, them that. Yeah, we need, to, we need to make the highest number of babies we can yeah. using the switch token. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. One of those rooms. Yeah. Yes. Just like that room from Judson, uh, Juts Sentry. There are two <sighs> ways to go in there. I guess so, but it looks like it's going to be a puzzle of kill the golems all in the center. Yeah, probably. Yeah, that's looking like that. Yes, yeah, so it looks like that blocks the way to another room. Yeah. Yeah, that looks like fun. So, we're already about 45 minutes into this part, so I don't know if... I don't know if they, we should start or just cut and go. I for think this. I think this is a good point to call it today. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think we'll make any progress 
These yeah. look like monsters. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And yeah, including I the monsters the, in them. Yeah, I think this is the kind of level where it's like you. This is the first thing you do in a day. Yeah. All right. So I guess uh, the consensus is that we'll call it a day here. So. Yeah, and I think when we do go back to it, I'm thinking once east is probably the best starting point, just because that's blocking another room. Yeah, probably. Looks a little simpler than some of the other rooms. At least we kind I, of already know what needs to be done there, so... Yeah, I mean, this this level, I get the feeling this will take another five hours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, one room per video. Hooray. Oh, great. Yeah. Anyway, this has been Beetle Back in a 7, joined by Pinnacle, Nuntar, and Crimson Moon. In the next part, this. So yeah, until then, I guess, have a nice one. Goodbye. Bye. Insert goodbye here. <laughs> <laughs>